everybody, this is Nia Feiler and I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the week between February 28th and March 7th, 2021. Gosh, time is flying by. Um, this is where I talk about the celestial soup. We're all swimming in all zodiac signs and affects us all. Uh, I just want to remind everybody I still have 30% off a special COVID discount for all readings, consultations and classes. So what is this week like? What's the energy coming upon us? Well, through the weekend we have this majesty in the sky with this um, full moon in uh, Virgo. Um, a full moon that talks about our need for integration, integrativity and uh, understanding the interactivity of everything like the Lakota stress we are all related everything is connected and without understanding that integrativity and interconnectivity and interdependence there won't be any healing any movement forward in order for this sense of community and bond and connection to reignite and flourish in our lives in order for us to mend Virgo and do the work needed Virgo in a better way Virgo um, as this full moon stresses there is a yod formation in the sky that helps us do the purification process it starts with Saturn in, um, in the sign of Aquarius talking about all these new restrictions new uh, Aquarius Saturn restrictions new laws the changes Aquarius that the system the laws the, the governments the countries indeed the structures of our lives needed to go through through 2020 this social distancing the coldness these are the two coldest signs of the zodiac the harshness of things the feeling of separateness and lack of support that needs to be cleared, that needs to be mended, that needs to be purified, that needs to be, some of it at least, left behind. Why? We go to the head of the Siod formation, the full moon itself, in order for that mending, that homeostasis, that healing process on all levels, that integral, integrative healing process to take place. What would happen afterwards? We're going to the scorpionic end of the Yod, with Chiron and Aries sitting on the other end, <coughs> there would be a healing, Chiron, of the self, Aries, the belief in oneself and our potential to make change and cause a healing to this wound we've been carrying. And we've all been carrying this because of the capitalist culture we've been growing up in that makes the individual sacred and and so gives us this understanding that we're special and and that we need to prove how special we are and how talented we are and how good we are and how successful we are to who we need to prove that is it to our parents our teachers our bosses the pillars of society themselves ourselves Nobody knows. But we are living with this constant feeling of needing to prove ourselves that is accompanied by the constant feeling that we're not good enough, that sensitivity, that we're lacking, <laughs> that others are better than us. And that needs to be changed. That needs to be healed. And every Yod formation has a magic spot just between those two planets in sextile, Saturn and, and Chiron. And in this case, that's the Sun in Pisces standing there exactly. And what does the Sun in Pisces says? It's the same love. It's the same light. It's the same existence we all share. Things have been the same before the words of man and will be the same after the end of these words. There are some simple truths that are everlasting and never changing. We all live on this spaceship Earth. We all drink the same water, eat from the same resources, need.
the same love and comfort and stability. And in order for us to truly reconnect into that unity and understand that yes, we are droplets within an ocean, but we are the ocean, we make up the currents, we make up the tsunamis, we shape the, the shores, and it's no mistake that we are alive and part of this ocean. That this magical healing can truly take place. So after all of these energy, we are entering a week a bit lethargical, a bit forgetful, a bit spiritual. And it's okay, Sunday morning is just that. And then there's an earth trine coming in over Sunday and Monday between the moon and, and uh, Pluto and Mars talking about the rooting and strengthening and stabilizing earth trine of in this sense our sense of um, emotional capability and ability to withstand turbulations in our life to stand up to the challenges to understand the well of strength is inside not outside and that we do have that strength to overcome that in sense uh, enhances our sense of capability and ability and and that's a great way to start the week Monday you know with these trines in the sky and then Tuesday um, the second watch from being too obsessive and compulsive as the moon is squaring uh, Pluto Wednesday the third Mars enters Gemini we all become a little less decisive but updated new information flows in that changes the way we act and move forward in our lives um, there's a T-square in the sky over that day. That's a challenging formation in the sky. And it will, you know, stress the necessity of the structures that we live in to move forward as well and upgrade the systems, the governments, the educational system, the monetary system, the financial system, the relationship between civic society and governance and our place in society. We can feel that stress. We can feel that necessity and um, it could make more civil uh, disobedience and, and riots and demonstration erupt. Um, on that day we have Venus planet of relationships and satisfaction and self-value, sextiling Uranus. This is definitely a time not to think that we know how the road needs to be charted but to be flexible, to allow in the new, to get excited by the new, by the unknown, to let ourselves be um, of a younger spirit and accept that new with open arms. It is a time that we can actually enjoy it and gain value from it, um, from that flexibility in our lives. And so let new people in, uh, let the people that you are in a relationship with, whether it's personal or uh, through your work, let these relationships you know be upgraded and walk forward don't let them stagnate this is a great time for meeting new people this is a great time for doing those changes even with your work even with your finding new ways that in which you could find satisfaction and value in your life and this is definitely a time to upgrade the way we treat ourselves as well self-love um, Thursday the fourth watch out from exaggerations and for talking about things that you would actually prefer would stay quiet if you think about it a little better. Friday the 5th we have um, Mercury again conjuncting Jupiter and that could cause a bit of verbal diarrhea but it can also cause epiphanies and understandings. This could be a great time to sign deals or, 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 or contracts or plan forward this is a time um, that breakthroughs could happen in the way we navigate our lives but we do have to keep discreet and tactful um, and then Saturday basically um, a fun day but it's not organized uh, mentally okay so I wouldn't do any calculative or you know administrative things on that day I would just enjoy myself and then Sunday the 7th um, we have moon trining Uranus again time to uh, let the new in the quickening pace and ride that wave, ride that wave, yeah. That's about everything I had to say for this week. I'm keeping it short. I want to thank you for listening and sharing and commenting. It exposes these videos to more people. This is Nia Filer. May we all live long and prosper. Bye-bye.